Let's talk about Toto Santos. <laughs> what about it? What do you think? I mean, it's touristy. It is a cute little downtown area, but it's very touristy. Uh, the beach here at La Pastora is really nice, and the waves have been really fun to watch. Two thumbs up, La Pastora. <laughs> so we'll definitely be back for that. But other than that, Toto Santos. I'm not really feeling Toto Santos. Yeah, I don't. I don't like Toto Santos. The exceptions are we have two exceptions. The exception number one is the Turtle Sanctuary, Tortugueros Las Playitas. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty awesome experience. People are pretty cool there, um, and they're doing good things. And then there's Alex with Eco Revolution. Alex is awesome. Yeah. He's awesome. But he is a really great guy, and he has been committed to this to this town, to Toto Santos. So I'm not gonna poop on the town of Toto Santos, but I will say it is not my vibe. I would not settle here long-term. I actually like La Paz with 300,000 people in it. Yeah. I more like than I like Toto Santos. And that, I mean, that's surprising to me because I thought we liked Toto Santos when we first started planning out this trip. So that's not to say you won't like Toto Santos. You may enjoy having some of the luxuries or, or whatnot. That's why La Pastora, I think, is, is packed. Well, I mean, it's a big wide open space. It's not packed. But there's easily 30, 40 RVs here. And of all forms. Yeah. But there's a bus. There's lots of lots vans. Lots of camper vans, yeah. Truck campers. There's Class C. There's cars. People living out of cars. Tents. So there's lots of space here. And there's lots of people here. La Pastora is by far, it's, it's where you want to go when you're in Toto Santos area. It's a 10 minute drive down a bumpy, dirty dirt road, washboards, holes, that kind of stuff. But you can go into town really easily. There's no reason why you would have to stay at the campground Toto Santos unless you wanted to get chocolate wasted and walk back to your RV. But we love La Pastora. We'll be back. I'm going to bring a surfboard next time hmm. or I'm just going to grow the courage to ask one of these guys if I could borrow a surfboard. The waves here have been awesome. Um, it is a big surf spot. So if you're into surfing, you probably already know about La Pastora. If you're not into surfing and you're looking for a place to try out, this is it. So wrapping up, Toto Santos, I'm ready to kind of like kick the dirt off my feet. Literally. Pick and up our laundry. And because the laundry here is drop off and it wasn't ready until today, so we had to sleep with no sheets. Which is better than the <laughs> one that we first stopped at, which was a four day wait. Yeah, which so. we could not do. No sheets, no blanket. I froze. I swept in my pants I was hot. and sweatshirt. And I was I, hot. I grabbed the dog and pulled her over close to me. And so <laughs> we, you know, we didn't have a horse that we could sleep inside of or a whale. Well, stop. Like that's what that's what they do in the wild. When it wasn't that cold. It was freezing I was cold. hot. It was cold. You just haven't acclimated to Baja yet. Sorry. All the Mexicans in Baja are freezing cold right now, and it's really 50 degrees is the low we've seen. But I was cold at 50 degrees, maybe because I'm such a warm-hearted guy. I just can't handle the cold. And I'm a cold-hearted. Yeah. Did I say yeah? <laughs> we'll see. We're getting out of Toto Santos, and we are going to be meeting up with our friends in Los Brias. Friends we haven't met before with the truck camper. I say friends, that's just how the world seems to work. Mm -hmm. We've connected through Instagram and YouTube. So we're gonna go meet up with them. And we're also going to meet up with our friends, Scott and Melissa and their boys. They'll be headed up to Los Barrios soon as well. And that will be the next stop. But I'm so tired of talking about the future. There is no future. Something will happen. We will be there, God willing, and it'll be amazing. And we'll have our camera there. We officially left Toto Santos, but we had to stop to get propane just outside of town. And we are now headed towards Los Bariles for the next few days. Uh, back in Toto Santos, Chris literally scared the crap out of me. Um, he left the truck running before going to grab something. I was in the back of the camper. And all of a sudden, like a few minutes later, I heard the truck revving up really loud. I seriously thought somebody had jumped in the truck and was about to drive off with it. I ran out so fast and 
Chris comes around the corner literally laughing. It was not funny, but... Well, we arrived in Los Bries and we got all set up again. We made our bed. We had all of our laundry everywhere. As Lindsay mentioned, I kind of scared the crap out of her. I was going to get laundry and I put the dog in the front of the truck. For whatever reason, Everest wanted to be in the air condition in the front instead of sweating her butt off in the back of the camper with us. So I put her in there, I started the truck, I turned the air condition on. I said, hey Lindsay, um, you're all good. She said, do I need to do anything? I said no, but if somebody starts to drive the truck away, make sure to do something then. So, so stupid me. I go out for 15 minutes to pick up laundry and I come back and on the way back I'm thinking, you know what would be funny, Chris? If we acted like we were stealing the truck. Because <laughs> that's the last thing we told Lindsay to worry about. And sure enough, I revved up the truck and I ran back. I revved it three times really quick because I knew she was going to freak out. I ran to the back of the camper. And Lindsay was already on the ground, sprinting around to the other side to see what was going on. I grabbed her, I kissed her first, I apologized, and then I, la I laughed so hard. Um, not on film, of course, so you can't laugh along with us. But just imagine, uh, we do have fun with each other on the road. Uh, maybe I have more fun than she does. She has to put up with me. So, feeling in a positive, cheerful, supportive mood, Send Lindsay a comment and uh, let her know how brave and awesome she is for dealing with me. We met up with friends that we connected with through YouTube and Instagram, and we're gonna spend a couple days here just hanging out. Maybe go in and tour the town um, and see if we can stir up some volunteering activities. There's a couple people we connected with at the orphanage who live in Los Berias, and they help with the fundraising for the orphanage. So I'd love to sit down with them and talk about what else is going on in town. But for the time being, we're parked out at the end of a beach. It's a free beach all the way outside of town to the north end of town. And the wind is kicked up pretty amazing right now in the afternoon and the evening. There's a bunch of kite boarders and windsurfers out there having a great time. That's not what Lindsay and I do. So if you're into that, you're gonna love Los Berias. We'll be here for a couple days and we will um, we'll see what's going on in town. Let's say you find yourself in Los Berias. Maybe you're headed down to Cabo Pulmo or you're on your way up and you say, you wake up in the morning and you're sitting out on the beach, you're having your coffee and you say, I'd really like to go play with some dogs today, but I don't have a dog. Or I only have one dog and I'd like to play with more than one dog. Or I'm tired of my dog, but you don't say that out loud because you don't want your dog to hear. And I'd love to go play with some dogs, but I'm in Los Perias, I can't do that. Well, really you can. And it's a really cool rescue. So if you're looking for a way to volunteer and you're in the Los Barrias area, there's a rescue called Cortez Animal Rescue or Cortez Dog Rescue. And that's what they need. They need volunteers every day to come play for about two hours a day, any day of the week, any day you happen to be here, and you get to play with the dogs. You can hear they're out having a great time right now. I'm gonna take you in and introduce you to some of the dogs that are here right now. Throughout the course of the year, there's anywhere between 40, 60, 80 dogs at a time, and they're constantly adopting them out, which is great. But what the volunteers do here is they come every single day and make sure every dog that's here gets love and affection. I mean, how hard is that? If you're looking for something easy to do, playing with dogs is the way to go. So let's go check it out. Flying low under the radar like a
Night Hawk stealth plane you are Hiding out in the shadows Keeping from the light of day Nobody should ever have to live that way We finally have a beautiful, calm, non-windy day in Los Bariles, and it's now giving us this magnificent sunset. And there are bat rays jumping all in the water. It is so cool. Uh, Chris and Scott and their boys are out fishing. Uh, it's just been a beautiful, beautiful day here. Great day because earlier I got to play with a bunch of dogs and puppies over at Cortez Rescue. And now we get to end it this way. And it's just uh, stunning here. This is pretty cool. There are bat rays jumping everywhere. Look at them all.